The 2008 Mumbai attacks were a series of terrorist attacks that took place in November 2008, when 10 members of Lashkar e Taiba, an Islamic extremist organization, carried out 12 coordinated shooting and bombing attacks lasting four days across Mumbai. The attacks, which drew widespread global condemnation, began on Wednesday, the 26th of November, and lasted until Saturday, the 29th of November, 2008. At least 174 people died, including nine attackers, and more than 300 were wounded. Eight of the attacks occurred in South Mumbai at Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, Mumbai Chabad House, the Oberoi Trident, the Taj Palace and Tower, Leopold Cafe, Kama Hospital, the Nariman House, the Metro Cinema, and in a lane behind the Times of India Building and St. Xavier's College. There was also an explosion at Mazagaon, in Mumbai Sport Area, and in a taxi at Wild Pale. By the early morning of 28 November, all sites except for the Taj Hotel had been secured by the Mumbai Police and Security Forces. On 29 November, India's National Security Guards conducted Operation Black Tornado to flush out the remaining attackers. It culminated in the death of the last remaining attackers at the Taj Hotel and ended the attacks. Pakistan condemned the attacks. Ajmal Kasab, the sole surviving attacker, disclosed that the attackers were members of the terrorist group lashkar e taiba Among others, the government of India stated that the attackers came from Pakistan and their controllers were in Pakistan. Pakistan later confirmed that the sole surviving perpetrator of the attacks was a Pakistani citizen. On 9 April 2015, the foremost ringleader of the attacks, Zakir Rehman Lakhui, was released on bail and disappeared. He was arrested again in Lahore on 2 January 2021. In 2018, former Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif suggested that the Pakistani government played a role. In the 2008 Mumbai attack, there had been many terrorist attacks in Mumbai since the 13 coordinated bomb explosions that killed 257 people and injured 700 on 12 March 1993. The 1993 attacks were carried out in revenge for earlier religious riots that killed many Muslims. On 6 December 2002, a blast in a best bus near Ghatkopar station killed two people and injured 28. The bombing occurred on the 10th anniversary of the demolition of the Babri Mosque in Ayodhya. A bicycle bomb exploded near the Wild Pali station in Mumbai, killing one person and injuring 25 on 27 January 2003, a day before the visit of the Prime Minister of India Atal Bihari Vajpayee to the city. On 13 March 2003, a day after the 10th anniversary of the 1993 Bombay bombings, a bomb exploded in a train compartment near the Mulund station, killing 10 people and injuring 70. On 28 July 2003, a blast in a best bus in Ghatkopar killed 4 people and injured 32. On 25 August 2003, two bombs exploded in South Mumbai. One near the gateway of India and the other at Zaveri Bazar in Kalbadevi. At least 44 people were killed and 150 injured. On the 11th of July 2006, seven bombs exploded within 11 minutes on the suburban railway in Mumbai, killing 209 people, including 22 foreigners and more than 700 injured, according to the Mumbai police. The bombings were carried out by Lashkar e Taiba and Students Islamic Movement of India. A group of men, sometimes stated as 24 and at other times 26, received training in marine warfare at a remote camp in mountainous Muzaffarabad in Pakistan. Part of the training was reported to have taken place on the Mangla Dam Reservoir in Pakistan. The recruits went through the following stages of training. According to Indian and US media reports, from the recruits, 10 were handpicked for the Mumbai mission. They also received training in swimming and sailing, besides the use of high-end weapons and explosives under the supervision of lead commanders. According to a media report citing an unnamed former Defense Department official of the U.S., the intelligence agencies of the U.S. had determined that former officers from Pakistan's army and 
Inter Services Intelligence Agency assisted actively and continuously in training. They were given blueprints of all the four targets, the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel, Oberoi Trident, Nariman House and Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus. The first events were detailed around 2000 Indian Standard Time on the 26th of November, when 10 men in inflatable speedboats came ashore at two locations in Kolaba. They reportedly told local Marathi-speaking fishermen who asked them who they were to mind their own business, before they split up and headed two different ways. The fishermen's subsequent report to the police department received little response and local police were helpless. The Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj terminus was attacked by two gunmen, Ismail Khan and Ajmal Kasab. Kasab was later caught alive by the police and identified by eyewitnesses. The attacks began around 21.30 when the two men entered the passenger hall and opened fire using AK-47 rifles. The attackers killed 58 people and injured 104 oaths.